Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how we can have uh, two different approaches uh, regarding the multiple regression. So that is uh, depending on the method. So you can choose the enter or stepwise. So the last time I showed you the uh, enter method and uh, you can observe the uh, R square changes when you uh, opt the uh, hierarchical regression. So in the first step, you put the set of variables as a factor, and then you, in the next step, you put uh, another uh, factors. So you can change the, by uh, two steps how the R square changes. But this time, I want to show you not by the method of the enter, but by the method of the stepwise. So this way, uh, we'll uh, model, we'll, we'll construct uh, uh, different models according to the numbers of the factors. So uh, in fact, the, I want to show you what, it, what that means. So when you do a, a regression test, analyze and uh, regression in the linear. So here, I already put the variable of the uh, performance rating that is dependent variable. And then you have that here, the four factors. So you consider that all the factors influence or predict the score of the performance. So what we have done last time was uh, this, or we uh, put the only the two variables in the first uh, group and the next group, you put the uh, written comprehension and the written expression as a second group. So when you divide the two groups uh, by this way, the hierarchical, and then, and then the SPSS considers the, uh, the, they are two models. So the second model will be, will, uh, sorry, so this one. So second, first model will uh, enter the, this two variables together. And then the second model will have uh, these two variables. So um, this was the uh, hierarchical regression. So today, what we wanted to do, this is not a way I want to show you today. So it's um, now. We can put the all different factors we want to test. So we can put the written and the written expression here. So we have all four factors here. And now you choose the stepwise. So last time we choose the enter, that means the, that uh, makes, makes the all factors together at the same time. But when we do the stepwise, this means that the most influencing factor will enter first and the second one, and third one, and fourth. So for, finally, we will have the four models, okay? So this is a big difference, in fact. And then we will compare what is the real, real change between uh, the hierarchical and the stepwise method. So this, and then statistic, model fit, estimate, r care change, power correlation, coronary diagnostic, everything is the same. And then now just to, we change the, the stepwise, and we put all four variables. So now, okay. So as you can see now, we have the four models. Before in a hierarchical regression, as we put the two variables in the one block, they had the one model, and the second is the second model. We had the these two variables are added. So finally, in the model two, they had the four variables. But now we have the one mo model one has a one variable, model two has a two variables, and model three has a three, and finally model four has all four variables. So we can check the uh, in a four models, and then you can see the R square of the each, and the R square changes also you can observe. So stepwise choose the most influencing factor. So that is the uh, the oral expression. So that was the most. Uh, in fact, the R square is uh, here. So it, it was the most influencing factor. Yeah, and then. You can put the second model that was the oral, uh, oral comprehension was the first and the oral expression. So that adds the uh, about 10% uh, from here. And then the, the third one was the written comprehension that is about the 4%. And then the, finally the written expression that is about the 1%. So you can see that here, in fact, the uh, uh, oral uh, comprehension expression they are most influencing factors. And then the, uh, the written part, written uh, comprehension expression, they add something, but it's not very significant factors. So anyway, in the ANOVA table, you can see that all of them are significant. At the model four, you can see that when they are all entered in the stepwise way, 
and they are still significant. So we can consider all four variables are significant uh, for the performance scores. And uh, you can see here the uh, is a uh, one by one the uh, uh, standardized beta. So that is R square, uh, not I square. Sorry, it's R value R. So that it means that is a uh, this one is R value. So they have this. Um, each one has the uh, 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 variances. They have the uh, zero point three four three five and zero point two eight and like this. So they have uh, this different uh, contribution of the that, uh, performance scores, okay? And then, uh, yeah, in fact, that is the, our focus today, what I wanted to show. So when you see this, in fact, the, in the model four, about the, these beta uh, values, when you go back to the, uh, when we did the enter with the, just the two uh, models, it was a hierarchical regression, and then you can see they have the same numbers, okay? so. If we want to know, it, that is a depending on your goal. If we want to know one by one how much they uh, contributed, you can use the uh, stepwise method. But if you want to group them as the like an oral part and the written part, and then you can use the hierarchical and then enter method. Okay. So uh, this is in fact uh, good to know because depending on the, your goal, you can choose the uh, between the two different options. Thank you.